I always thought there was something wrong with me. My dear, sweet daddy, Harry Fisher, died in 1972, when I was 12 years old. The experiences he kept locked away tight in his heart, head, body, and every pore died with him. Exactly 40 years after his death, I am just now unearthing all the secrets he couldn't tell a girl. These secrets are more harrowing than I could have imagined or seen depicted in any film. They were real. What's more, he was tortured by the memories of his days during World War II for decades until he was finally relieved of his misery at age 49 when I was just becoming a teen and at the age when a girl most needs her daddy. I'm creating an interactive ebook that's going to be a collection of short stories interspersed with a live action and animated video, newsreel footage, home movies, and whatever else kind of comes into the creative process that I figure out as I'm writing. It's trying to connect uh, the Holocaust story and bridging it with the present and then also trying to reach the future. In a way, I am facing the enemy, but instead of feeling hatred or anger, I feel great comfort that I am being heard. I'm honored that you want to help me understand what happened on this site and the hundreds of other sites like this all over Europe. The story is really not about me, it's really about my dad, but I'm a reflection of him and his experiences were passed down to me in conscious and subconscious ways. And I'd like to really explore that. And I think there's a lot of people out there that feel like an outsider, that they have this legacy that was passed down to them and they don't really understand it. However, their life is not going as smoothly as some others. And so that's been my experience. So. I would really like to explore that. A project like this doesn't come free. It isn't handed to you. We, you don't just create it one day. We really need money, and that money will go towards the project's research, the writing, hiring an animator for the animated sequences, uh, getting someone to put the ebook together on a programming level. Uh, this, is, this is a project that we would love to make happen, but we really, really need your help. So if you, if you, want to just connect to life, to the stories of our history, to the opportunities of our future, please, please, please press the donate now button. Thank you. Even though I know people don't want to keep hearing about it, I know that, but we must keep talking about it. I want to join all of you in keeping this dialogue alive and the memory of Alam alive. Thank you very, very, very much. Thank you.